Three, two. I have with me the man who's made India very proud and represented India internationally in the sport of basketball. Mr. Manoj Tripathi, sir, it's indeed a privilege to have you here with us. Thank you, thank you. Thanks a lot for that. Well, you've been awarded the Shiv Chhatrapati Shivaji Award, the highest honor in the state in terms of sport from Maharashtra. And you're here. How excited are you used to see professional basketball come to India? It's, it's like the excitement has no bounds for me. It's like, it's like such an often atmosphere, it's a such a beautiful atmosphere here and seeing so much of like uh, people as being associated with this game. It's a very beautiful game, you know. Yes, yes. Uh, it's, it has been passion, my passion has been to play basketball. I mean, day and night you have to play basketball. There was a time when I don't play basketball, I used to fall sick. It's like that. So seeing this game here in Lyra, I was, I never believed till I got an invitation on Timaya to be here. It's a wonderful, really game. Electrifying atmosphere and beautiful to watch that UBA league has come at this stage. I'm so happy to see that big broad smile on your face right now. <laughs> well, what do you want to say about the level of fitness which is required in this particular Basketball sport? Basketball is a very tough game and the fitness required is, is quite uh, tough. You know, it's a game where you require all sorts of fitness for being a handball, being a volleyball, being an ice skater, everything you require. So the players naturally have to be tough. Something that at this stage is lacking at, at this particular But then uh, mainstream players are not here, so probably it is because of that. And if once you see the mainstream players participating in the league, then it will definitely be a very big uh, the state, the, the, the tournament will be something awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And since you yourself are working in the income tax department, you're associated with the government, what steps should the government take to make the sport more popular in our country? See, government is always doing its bit. The government is always doing its bits. It's recruiting players, it's giving job to them, encouraging them. So you'll find most of the players from income tax. We never tell them you don't go for this tournament because we are independent. Now even if the federation says you don't go for this tournament, we always have the right that our players will be playing in this league. Right. So it's like nobody can stop us. If we are from the government, we are for the sports. So we'll see to it that the players continue to be playing for the UBA. Right. <laughs> and how important does it become for us to target the right age? Started it, from the youngsters. It's, it's it's one of the main things. It's the most crucial thing. You have to target the young guys. You have to target as well as nine years. At the age of nine, you have to target. Have the mini players, have the youth players, because the, that is that is the base. Right. Once you get the base, the base is the base is correct. You get into a beautiful players. You get beautiful players. The standard will be awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for talking to us. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.